Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video guys. If you have a BMW 3 Series guys and you're trying to test knock sensor on BMW 3 Series, we'll explain, we'll explain how to do that. Procedure is not very complicated guys and it takes only a few seconds practically to realize if it's good or bad. Now, uh, make sure to stay until the end. There is one fact that I want to share with you that's very important. But before we start guys, every single car we get at the shop, we make it least guys. At least two to three hundred free repair videos on BMW 3 series we will have probably close to four or five hundred videos why we guys do all that simply because our mission the shop is to save you as much money as we can guys all we need in return please subscribe to our channel and like the video so we can keep providing guys that free information all the tools guys that we'll be using to test the sensor uh, if you need to buy new knock sensors or any replacement parts for your BMW 3 series check out the link in the description of the video below we share it guys for your convenience so let me show you what we have here guys okay and we're going to explain how we're going to test it and uh, what tool we need for that so this is guys uh, N 52 six cylinder engine doesn't matter if you have a four six v8 engine guys if you have a diesel gasoline the procedure to test the knock sensors will be about the same for all of them what the knock sensor does guys okay it's kind of like a microphone for your vehicle guys okay that's the ears what i'm talking about you'll probably say okay that guy is nuts no uh, this knock sensor is mounted to the engine block guys okay Usually it's mounted to the engine block, most BMWs will have two of them, unless you have a V8, you will have up to four sensors, one here, one over there. And it listens guys for early explosions in the, uh, in the uh, uh, combustion chamber, okay, that's where the gas, gasoline or diesel and uh, air is mixed guys pressed by the piston and then the spark plug should ignite but if that uh, detonation that uh, ignition um, spark is released actually a little bit early what will happen it will detect that as early explosion it will hear a knock vibration and that knock, knock sensor is going to listen for that vibration will send signal to the engine computer to actually adjust the timing so that's the purpose of it if you okay if you wonder if you can drive with a back knock, knock sensor we have a video that explains everything and how you can end up paying guys thousands of dollars for repairs and what it can cost so please check it out guys we'll try to share the link in the description of the video below if not it will be on our channel now two that we need guys okay perfect let's say just like that two that we need voltmeter guys okay this is uh, this is the voltmeter right here uh, i'm going to click it to vote then we need to go to dc okay this is for dc voltage guys now uh, this uh, uh, voltmeter guys it's amazing okay multimeter is amazing if you're on the market for a good reliable tool that's super accurate i'll definitely recommend it nothing sponsored here we purchased it ourselves i'll put the link in the description of the video below the knock sensor itself on bmws you cannot just replace one of them you have to replace both of them at the same time each of the sensors come okay to that wire okay right here that connector and left side is for one sensor the other side is for the, the other sensor so if you trace the sensor for instance this left one it comes to this wire here you have two wires guys there okay one on the left side one on the right side okay the first left pair is for one sensor the second pair is for the other sensor so what i'm going to do now okay let me see if you can actually see the action happening okay let's come from top a little bit okay just like that i'm going to turn that knock sensor okay facing upside down somehow okay and i'm going to get the probe uh, the, the leads okay touch one of the lead red lead to one one wire black lead to another wire and you're going to get a voltage low voltage usually okay i slipped out let me adjust okay low voltage you can see just like that now what will happen if I, guys, hit that sensor with a metal tube? Something just to tap on it. You will notice that this voltage will go up. Check it out now. Okay, let's try again. Check it out. Okay. Now, this is, guys, a bad sensor. Okay, it doesn't register almost every time. Now, I will switch to the other one. Okay, let me switch to the other one now. And I will demonstrate the other one that's good. Okay, how it registers so i have the thing ready here okay let me hold it now perfect and now i'm going to go ahead get the sensor wiring 
is holding here in place okay check it out now what happens if I click uh, if I hit it if I tap it check it out how it changes it goes up really big time guys check it out every time I tap on it it detects vibration that vibration is creating current guys that current is being transferred and it tells us okay that actually the sensor is working 90% of the time you can tell if the sensor is good or bad that way guys okay usually with no problem at all just get a metal tool tap on it and see if it moves so definitely a good sensor here guys that's how you figure it out hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching guys please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time